Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in YouTube tutorials for MATLAB. Today we're looking at tables in MATLAB and we have here, we have a simple text file which are uh, exam scores and we have it here as a text file and we want to be able to you know, manipulate that text file in MATLAB. So that's it there, so we have the names there we have the gender there and there's the exam scores and remember just be, because Peterson just goes into the male that bumps out the female which bumps out the scores here but we sort all of that out in MATLAB so I can shut that down I'm not going to run it in MATLAB I've done that already and I've made I've published it and I made a PDF file and I hope that things are fairly clear there I might just make that a little bigger so no, that's okay so we're here so we've tidied up our workspace etc so first command if you don't know this read table and then the file name and we assume that exam scores.txt is in the same folder as the text file as the same folder as the script okay so we load that up and we just look at it down here on this line here display scores that property so that's the name of the table scores and there we have you can just see scores so there's just five variables we don't know them and then on this line here we're going to give these five variables names so we just scroll down a little bit more and there there it's just breaking over the page unfortunately so we've set the names there so name gender exam one exam two and we did that by that line there and then we're just going to get uh, scores.gender so we just go to list and uh, scores.gender just to show it all works and here is scores.gender so we're just getting uh, the gender of the 10 candidates i think it is okay now the interesting bit we're going to get some computation just a la, Mex a la excel i should say so here we're going to get on this line here we're going to get the mean of the table scores of all the rows in column five and note the curly braces there and there's an if print f doing the job for us and there it is 85.7 and on this one here we're going to get the average of row two for exam one exam two exam three and then the average score for row two is 85 then we're going to get the score for all the rows on that line there and then we're going to tack that variable on to our table so scores of average equals all rows average so all rows average remember is the average of each row And there we had five columns and there we have column six. Oh, go up just a little bit. We can get a subset. So we're getting rows one to three, columns one to four, which is some scores. So rows one to three, columns one to four. Yep, yeah, that's all grand. You can sort just like Excel. So if you say sort rows scores, the default will be column one. So you sort it by uh, alphabetical name, A to Z. And then we're on another column, sort rows scores, comma average. So we're going to see that down here. And we look at the sixth column, the column that we just computed above. And we're starting from lowest score to highest score there. we're just displaying the scores nothing new there and if we say summary scores this line here we get this sort of little statistical output here of the min the median the max you can get the properties of the table remember the table is called scores so scores that properties and scores that properties that variable name 
So there's the properties of the scores. And scores that properties of variable names gives us these lads here. Okay. And then I didn't do anything here, but just to mention the methods that are available to the table scores. Excuse me, excuse me, we just get the methods that you could run. Didn't do anything about that. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.